In this video we're going to look at multiplying our brackets. So let's start with x plus 2 times x plus 4. So this means I'm taking x plus 2 and multiplying it by x plus 4. And that's the same as taking x and multiplying it by x plus 4 and adding it to what you get when you do 2 times x plus 4. And if you're not convinced by that, try it with a particular value, right? So if I said, you know, x is 10, this is like saying I've got 10 plus 2 times 10 plus 4, so I've got 12 times 14. And you know that if you did 12 times 14, that would be the same as doing uh, 10 times 14 plus 2 times 14. And so I'm just really writing this out uh, in this way, right? So I've got 12 lots of it, so I've got 10 lots of it, and I've got 2 lots of it. The same here, I've got x plus 2 lots of it, that's the same as saying I've got x lots of x plus 4 and 2 lots of x plus 4. It's the same as when you go on to multiply these out. When I do 10 times 14 here, you can think of it as 10 times 10 plus 10 times 4. And here you can say this is 2 times 10 plus 2 times 4. So going back to the algebraic example then, the next stage is just to uh, multiply out these brackets here um, and to get x times x here which is x squared plus 4x plus 2x plus 8 and now we collect together any like terms here we've got 4x and 2x so that's x squared plus 6x plus 8 and looking back to the numerical example we had here that I've crossed out to make it clearer was 10 plus 2 times 10 plus 4 that's 12 times 16 and if you put x equals 10 into this expression we've got here we would get 10 squared plus 6 times 10 plus 8 which is 168 which is 12 times 14 and the power of algebra is I'm not just doing it for 10 I'm doing it for any value of x so it's always the case that whatever value of x I put into this expression will be the same as what I put in uh, when I put x into this expression so now you've got the idea let's look at some more examples so 2x plus 3 times 5x plus 7 would be the same as doing 2x times 5x plus 7 uh, and adding it to 3 times 5x plus 7 and then multiplying these out we get 10x squared plus 14x plus 15x plus 21 and collecting together the like terms we get 10x squared plus 29x plus 21 and of course because multiplication uh, is a, an operation that you can do either way around so I could actually do 5x plus 7 times 2x plus 3 instead uh, and get the same thing you know 3 times 5 is the same as 5 times 3 and it's no different with algebraic expressions so we could have also multiplied it out the other way I could have said this is equal to 5x times 2x plus 3 plus 7 times 2x plus 3 that would give me 10x squared plus 15x plus 14x plus 21. These have actually got all exactly the same terms here, they're just the other way around. So I still get 10x squared plus 29x plus 21. You have to be a bit careful when there are minus signs floating around. So here I would have 3x lots of 5x plus 2, but now I would have minus 1 lot of 5x plus 2, which is just minus 5x plus 2 so this would be 15x squared plus 6x now here's the most common mistake that uh, that people make which is to not do this bit properly where you have the minus outside this bracket we get minus 5x minus 2 so that minus 1 it's minus the whole uh, bracket there again if you're not convinced by that try it with particular values of x with with numbers and uh, and see and see if it works but also if you think about it um, 5x plus 2 must be the same as 2 plus 5x, right? So um, if you were to do this as minus 5x plus 2, then uh, you would also surely do it as minus 2 plus 5x, so there'd be two different answers. So actually this minus must go into the 2 term and into the uh, 5x term there and not just one of them. So try and avoid that uh, mistake. If you've got a minus outside a bracket, be very careful. And of course then we can just collect together the min this plus 6x and the minus uh, 5x terms here so we've got 15x squared plus x minus 2
you could have a minus in both brackets as well so this would be 3x lots of 2x minus 21 minus 2x minus 21 which would give us 6x squared minus 63x minus 2x and now the minus minus 21 so that's plus 21 so that's 6x squared minus 65x plus 21 and of course we could have different things in the brackets, not just x's. I've got here t plus y times x cubed plus 7. So that would be t lots of x cubed plus 7 plus y lots of x cubed plus 7, which is t x cubed plus 7t plus x cubed y plus 7y. And there's no terms that I can collect together here. They're all different. People often make mistakes with this sort of thing, x plus 4 squared. The most common mistake here would be to say that's just x squared plus 4 squared, which is um, x uh, squared plus 16. But you can tell very quick work. For example, if you looked at a particular value of x, 3 plus, for x equals 3 here, say, 3 plus 4 squared, well, that's 7 squared, that's 49. But 3 squared plus 4 squared is 9 plus 16 which is 25 so it's not the case that x plus 4 squared would always be x squared plus 4 squared and that's because x plus 4 squared actually means take x plus 4 and multiply it by itself so I actually need to do the multiplication that we've got up here and to say that that's x times x plus 4 plus 4 times x plus 4 so that's x squared plus 4x plus 4x plus 16 which is x squared plus 8x plus 16 and there are three really useful results uh, that are very helpful if you learn them um, so here's the first one x plus a squared in general is x plus a times x plus a so that's x times x plus a plus a times x plus a which is x squared plus ax plus ax plus a squared which is x squared plus 2ax plus a squared and if you can remember that result then it really simplifies uh, multiplying out these sorts of things that just come up all the time you can see we had here x plus 4 squared which is uh, this result with uh, a equals 4 so I'd get x squared plus 2 times 4 which is 8x plus a squared which is 16 um, and that's what we had there um, that will also help you remember that it's not just x squared plus a squared you've also got this extra 2ax term that comes from multiplying it out properly a very similar result to that is for x minus a squared so I've got x minus a times x minus a that's x times x minus a minus a times x minus a that's x squared minus ax minus ax plus a squared which is x squared minus 2ax plus a squared and another really useful result is that x plus a times x minus a is x times x minus a plus a times x minus a which is uh, x squared then minus ax plus ax minus a squared so that simplifies down to x squared minus a squared and that result is known as the difference of two squares result because we've, what we've got here is two squares I've got x squared and a squared and the minus sign uh, is a difference that's what difference means a subtraction of uh, a squared from x squared and then if you're happy with what you've done here there's not much difference really to multiplying out things that have more than uh, two terms in each bracket. Okay, so I've got now I've got x plus y plus three lots of three x plus one. That's the same as x lots of three x plus one plus y lots of three x plus one plus three lots of three x plus one. So that would give me x times three x, which is three x squared plus x plus three x y plus y plus nine x plus three. Not much simplifying we can do here, but we can combine the 
x and the 9x to get 3x squared uh, plus 10x, so I've got also plus y, plus 3xy, plus 3. Note this xy term doesn't combine with any of the other terms. Or if you wanted to do something really complicated, you could even multiply three brackets together. Again, multiplication doesn't matter what order you do it in, so I could do this one times this one and then multiply it by this, or this one times this one and multiply it by this. In the same way with ordinary numbers, you could well, if you're multiplying three of them together, it doesn't matter which two you start with, but I'll just start with the two on the left-hand side here. So x plus 3 times x minus 2, that's uh, x times x minus 2 plus 3 times x minus 2. So that's x squared minus 2x plus 3x minus 6, which is x squared plus x minus 6, but of course this was all multiplied by x plus 5. So let's put that around everywhere here. And now I could multiply out term by term and say I've got x squared, lots of x plus 5, plus x, lots of x plus 5, minus 6, lots of x plus 5, which is x cubed plus 5x squared plus x squared plus 5x minus 6x minus 30. Now I can combine these uh, terms here, x cubed, uh, 5x squared and x squared is 6x squared plus 5x minus 6x gives minus x and then we've got minus 30. So there's a really complicated example of multiplying out brackets but it's just the same principle that you're using for uh, simple uh, brackets um, in a applied uh, several times and being very careful with the algorithm we get.